Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for joining me. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see what comes out for you guys today. I hope you guys are doing well. Please remember to flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation. Okay, and also remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit. Okay, so let's just see what's going on for you guys. All right, I need to clean my table off. Um, but yeah, let's see. Spirit guides, angels for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please give me clear messages. What does Gemini need to know today? Please and thank you. Okay, messages for Gemini Spirit. Please give me clear messages for Gemini. Messages for Gemini, please. Okay, we have Six of Pentacles. So balance is coming back, equal give and take, reciprocity, or that's what you want. Maybe something is balancing out with your finances here. It said the good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. And then we have three of wands, planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride in the success of your labors, be patient as you decide what's next. Okay, so you guys are possibly waiting for some money or for some support. For some of you, it could be child support here that you're waiting for or... Hmm. I don't know, but I just know <laughs> that balance is coming back for you guys. There's something here. Maybe somebody wants to bring you some type of gift. Um, but like the card said, the good that you do is coming back to you. So whatever you put out is what you're getting back. Um, I think if you if you've been wanting some type of some type of equal give and take or support or something like that, I feel like that's coming in. You could be waiting for your ships to come in to make a move to do something, to give someone something. There could be some travel involved or some long distance going on here with you and someone else. What else? Some of you guys have to travel to do whatever you have to do here. What else for Gemini Spirit? cups it says focusing on the negative things not turning out the way you anticipated forgiveness of self or others everything happens for a reason look for the hidden blessings so there could be some regret and some sadness maybe that things aren't moving as fast as you want them to move here the three of wands talks about letting go of the past it talks about looking forward looking ahead okay making moves or you could be waiting for something that's probably what this is you you're tired of waiting because you're trying to get somewhere maybe you could be trying to get back to someone that you regret um doing something with maybe you hurt this person's feelings or vice versa okay but yeah there's some regret and some sadness around a certain situation okay Let's see. Let's just see what else comes out. We're going to clarify these with the red light tarot. All right. We have four pentacles. Managing your resources wisely, extremes, and how you give or receive money, time, or emotions. Smart business decisions. Seeing things as black or white. Being charitable. Yeah, there's a situation here that you could have been giving to here. And now you're trying to, um, like, hold on to your resources, your finances. You're trying to save because you've been giving, giving, giving. And you haven't really been getting anything back here, possibly. So you're trying to hold on to your money, your funds. There could be someone here that you're holding on to, Gemini, that you actually want to give back to. Somebody here could have been trying to control what you're trying to do here, your finances. Yeah, Five of Swords, it says an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. So there could be some mind games and shit like that around the situation. Something could be holding you up from moving forward. It could be like self-sabotaging ways that you have that you need to get rid of. But 
I don't know, somebody around you could be playing games or trying to hold on to you or hold you back from something, hiding your finances or something like that. But then we have the Eight of Wands. It says, too much going on, stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, business travel. So something here is happening quickly. Some communication looks like it's coming in fast. Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so maybe there's an earth sign here that you want to move things to calmer waters with. And there's a fire sign here that is playing games with you. Maybe you left them out in the cold here or something like that because they lied, they cheated, or they conned you in some type of way. But let's just see. Let's get some more information. But it looks like things are going to pick up or turn around really quickly. It's going to happen out of nowhere where things are going to pick up. Are you going to receive some communication about something? Positive movement forward here. A lot about traveling, possibly. Some of you guys can live overseas. <clears throat> but let's just see here. Um, why is the Six of Pentacles here, Spirit, for Gemini? The Will of Fortune, Three of Swords. Yeah, something here is going to shift and change. So if you're feeling sad about something, it's going to change. Or it is changing. You just don't see it. Okay, why is the Six of Pentacles here for Gemini? I don't like that shuffle. Let's try again. I don't like this one either. <laughs> okay, whatever. So let's see. Why are the Six of Pentacles here for Gemini? Let's see. Yeah, the world. You're being recognized for something. The world, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups at the bottom. Then we have the Eight of uh, the Ace of Cups. So yeah, something here is is changing. I feel like you're going to be recognized for the hard work that you put in for whatever you did, whether it was giving back to your community, helping people out. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like putting yourself last. I feel like you're learning how to put yourself first now. Yeah, it, it's time for you to receive, Gemini. So let's see. Why is this um world card here for Gemini? I mean, why, why are the Six of Pentacles here for Gemini? Why are the Six of Pentacles here for Gemini? You have the Four of Wands. Some of you guys could be investing in a new home, a new place, something here that's going to make you feel secure. It's going to bring you some type of security. Okay, you could be saving up for that. That's possibly what you're saving up for. I feel like a lot of people are doing this. There could be a possible celebration or a good time coming up here. You could have been giving to someone um, that you were married to. Or this could be a, a twin flame union. Let's see, what else were the Six of Pentacles with the Four of Wands? The Emperor in Reverse. Yeah, somebody's trying to control you here. Uh, for some of you, there is an absentee parent that is trying to control your finances. Like they're not even around for the kids, but they're trying to control your finances. This person, they could be an Aries fire sign, doesn't have to be, but they're very controlling, very manipulative and overbearing at times here. I feel like something here made you lose confidence in yourself. Okay, I don't know, I have to read that, it's my son's school. But yeah, somebody here is just that you were living with or that you were married to, you were giving to here. It's just very manipulative. They are, they abuse their powers, their authority. Somebody here likes to control things. Yeah, but I see you looking out to the future. You're not, you're, you're not looking at the past anymore. You're moving away. Okay, some of you are actually moving away from this person. What is this three of wands right here for Gemini? Yeah, King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're turning your back on whoever these masculine energies are. It could be a feminine, but they're masculine energies that are very, they're liars, they're cheaters, they're cons. Okay, they don't, they, they're not really authentic here. Somebody here can run a, like a, a business that is like scam, scamming people. Who the fuck is that at my door? <laughs> Give me a second, Gemini. Sorry, Gemini. I forgot I had called the maintenance man to do something for me. So, anyways, 
Um, yeah, with the King of Swords in, in reverse, clarifying the Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're moving away from this energy. You could have cut off all contact with whoever these people are. Because there's a masculine air sign, a masculine fire sign. Somebody maybe that you were married to or like, I don't know. This King of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> the Emperor is already bad enough in reverse. But the King of Swords in reverse, it does talk about like, I feel like somebody here has been an absentee parent or somebody here that you were married to they weren't taking care of their kids they would they just weren't doing their part in a relationship with you somebody here could be very abusive as well you know you could have been dealing with someone that's very verbally abusive mentally abusive yeah it's like you know i don't know this person is, is trying to intimidate you in a way they're very ruthless rude okay I feel like, you know, um, you're moving away from not being able to stand up for yourself and speak for yourself here. Because this person, they could have been very, I mean, when you deal with abusive people, they really put a damper on your, your how you feel about yourself. And just your life changes a lot when you deal with those kind of people. So I feel like you're moving away from that energy. The lies, the deceit, this person is a liar or something. Yeah, what um what else for the three of wands with the king of swords in reverse? Yeah, Knight of Cups. So yeah, you're giving your love offer to someone else. Okay, you are. You're ending a situation with whoever this is and giving your love offer or accepting a love offer from someone else. There's a love offer coming in. Who's this King of Swords in reverse real quick though? The Strength card. Yeah, it's like they have some type of power over you or this is you being strong enough to leave this relationship or the situation with this person. One more for the King of Swords in reverse. Could be dealing with the Leo. They could have Leo in their chart. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, somebody here that you were married to, you were happy to, uh, happy with at one point, I guess. But I feel like um, you're going towards some happiness. I do feel like you're going towards happiness. The King of Swords in reverse could just mean that this person has been lying to you about something as well. They could have... um, Or that, that is you. Damn, I'm talking about that like it's not you. That is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But... Yeah, I feel like you're building your strength back up. That's what that is. So if this is you in reverse, I don't feel like you're the bad person here. I feel like it's this person that you were married to. But you somehow, this person just really made you feel, they really judged you a lot. They just put you down. So, you know, you know that just sounds like an abusive situation. But I feel like you are using your intuition to move out of this. You're building up that courage, that strength to move out of whatever this is. And I feel like you're going into another happy dynamic here with someone else. Yeah, you have a love offer coming in from someone else, possibly. Someone that is not this person. So even if you know this per the new person, it's not this one, I don't think. So let's see. Why is the Five of Cups here for Gemini? The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Like this person has their back turned towards this Ten of Pentacles. So you, you really regret getting into a marriage with someone or a high level of commitment with someone or not taking an offer someone that from someone that is very abundant. Um, they have their shit together. Um, somebody here that you see long term, maybe you regret not taking that offer or someone does regret not taking that offer from you here. I feel like you don't see that there's abundance coming once you walk away from a situation. Yeah, I feel like there's some regret about leaving something behind. Um, some sadness, some disappointment here. A lot has happened, so it's like you're just you're just over it. Or this is just this person feeling remorseful and sad that they let you go because you were their ten of pentacles here. For some of you, there was definitely like a disappointment in a home situation when it uh, comes down to money, finances, <clears throat> investments here. What else with the five of cups with the ten of pentacles? The page of swords in reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody here lied about some money or lied about a family situation or just cut off all communication with you like they ghosted you here. It's like you weren't clear about something. You didn't have enough information to do something or move a certain way in a situation. Or somebody definitely was lying to you or trying to hide something from you, playing mind games with you. That's what I feel. You got some disappointing news about something or a message came in that's disappointing, that made you sad or hurt about a family dynamic. What is this? Like somebody here is malicious or something. 
possibly some gossip around this situation someone here watching you kind of like sending you the evil eye somebody that you were married to or in a family dynamic with whether it be cousin aunt whatever it could be a friend or that you consider family what is this page of swords right here in reverse the tower yeah somebody causing chaos and shit with the page of swords in reverse somebody just likes to cause arguments but i feel like the shit came crashing down for a reason okay because something here wasn't clear to you but i feel like all of a sudden boom it happened it came or it's going to if it hasn't i always speak in future tense i mean past tense and then move on to the good shit in the future <laughs> but yeah like um something here definitely came crashing down or you found out something that was shocking to you totally unexpected and it made you sad it hurt you possibly about your money or something or family found out that somebody that you were married to like you're sleeping with the devil or something like that jeez what is this um four of pentacles right here for gemini <clears throat> we have the hierophant in the world yeah so there is something new starting you're closing out a commitment i feel like you're going into another i feel like um you could be going through some type of institution or some legal matters involving your finances For some of you guys, I'm hearing something happen out of state or out of the country where you have to travel back to go back to court. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Those are messages. For somebody, you have to go back to court out of state or out of town because something happened in that town or state or whatever. But anyways, I feel like the, the, um, the time period of you holding on to money or penny pinching or having to save, save, save and not being able to spend on yourself or whatever the case is that shit is turning around okay i feel like something is shifting here could be dealing with the taurus leo scorpio aquarius aries is here yeah strong scorpio too leo yeah but something here is closing out and something new is beginning i feel like a commitment is coming yeah with somebody that's stable you can trust this person they like long-term stability they could own a business they could be a masculine energy a father figure yeah this person dresses well very down to earth type of person yeah so let's see what is this world right here for gemini yeah eight of cups you walking away from something and starting a passion new beginning here with the ace of wands so yeah you're learning how to forgive your these this past energy or whatever this is that happened to you in the past and you're moving forward this was very emotionally unfulfilling for you you're not happy here yeah you're missing two cups with the eight of cups you want that ten of cups that's what you want so i feel like you're headed towards that it's coming it's definitely coming i feel what is this hierophant right here for um gemini knight of swords in reverse what is this hier hierophant with the knight of swords in reverse the lovers in reverse yeah you there there's been a, a breakup here or maybe a karmic relationship where you had a karmic tie to someone you learned a karmic lesson of some sort and you're healing from that here yeah so you're you're walking away from a marriage um you stop taking action on something there is no movement here i feel like somebody here is definitely a tyrant somebody is very violent or I don't know they just seem like a bad person <laughs> with the knight of swords in reverse king of swords in reverse the emperor in reverse somebody here is abusive like they abuse their power they like to have one up on you they like to hurt you purposely maliciously here this air sign is in reverse could be you gemini but it could be a, another fellow air sign or another gemini yeah with the lovers too yeah it's like i don't know but yeah i feel like you're taking this person to court possibly or you could be calling another like institution or something that uh specializes in domestic violence or something like that i'm hearing because i just feel like i don't know this cycle has been going on for a while but somebody here is definitely violent i don't know you could be around a bunch of violent people i, I don't know but yeah something here is not working out or there's a breakup here definitely something imbalanced 
somebody here chose the wrong person or made the wrong choice to maybe marry someone or go into a commitment and that shit is just coming the fuck down what is this five of swords for gemini yeah eight of swords six of swords yeah this is you moving away this is you moving away from this energy there is definitely travel here you're moving forward um your life is going down a different path you're moving things to calmer waters for yourself yeah you're moving away from this stuck trapped energy feeling mentally entrapped feeling like you can't move or feeling powerless here somebody really tried to keep you in this energy yeah like you can't get out or you can't do anything or like i don't know this person is just weird i feel like this is some movie type of shit where somebody is just very very mean they like keep you locked up in the basement type of shit i'm glad you're moving out of this though because that could be someone's story and it's very sad i'm sorry to hear that if you have went through it but yeah i feel like you know that you have the power to get out of whatever situation you're in and you're not letting this person make you feel like they have more power over you you know somebody here definitely missed the opportunity with you though because they chose either they or the person you're dealing with chose someone over you and got themselves caught up into this or this is you that made the wrong choice or something but because the knight of swords in reverse could definitely mean um missing different opportunities for a love of a lifetime yeah what is this eight of wands for uh gemini the king of cups one more for the eight of wands for gemini the hermit could be dealing with the virgo yeah so this person here this king of cups person could be a cancer pisces scorpio or it doesn't have to be but somebody that's emotionally available for you here i feel like they want to offer you their cup of love they want to tell you how they feel they possibly have been holding it in for a while but you and this person aren't talking right now but i feel like something is going to happen out of the blue so unexpected this person is going to come rushing in to talk to you it's a positive uh opportunity for a new relationship or meeting somebody that makes you feel good somebody that's actually devoted to you that's going to treat you with respect you know what i'm saying so this person i feel like they're in hermit mode right now trying to figure out and assess how to um speak their truth to you or i don't know maybe this person ghosted you here for this relationship who knows but or this could be somebody totally new that you're meeting what is this um hermit with the king of cups right here the five of pentacles yeah so this could possibly be someone that left you out in the cold or you left them out in the cold here i don't know if this person is going through anything financially this could just be let me see what is this five of pentacles oh two of cups yeah <laughs> you left them out in the cold or they left you out in the cold but they love you they want to express their love to you this could be like a new soulmate or something like that well six of cups so maybe someone from your past or somebody that you share past lives with okay but yeah, it looks like they're coming in to express their love for you. They want to tell you how they feel here, it looks like. Yeah, because there's mutual love here in a situation. So, okay. So let's see. Let's um get some more information about these people involved. <clears throat> and then we're going to get some more. And we're going to pull signs for you. We're going to get um, more clarity about who these people might be for you. Gemini, let's pull a few of these. Yeah, I feel like you try to stay strong in a family dynamic or marriage or something like that, but you just got tired and just let the tower fall because this person, I don't know what's wrong with whoever this is. We have has three siblings. Somebody here has three siblings. Is physically active, has lived in more than one country, met you more than one year ago. Your past will cross when the holiday is in season. So maybe February. That's the next holiday, which is Valentine's Day. Likes to use their middle name. Okay. Let's get a few more. Has an odd number birth year. Dyes their hair unusual colors. Has a unique smile and has blue eyes. Bottom of the deck, it says sings in the shower. <laughs> so this person sings in the shower. You guys know this person, so... Maybe you know that they sing in the child. Let's get some more physical details about these people so you can see if this is your reading or not here. Oh shit, 
that's my dryer. I'm not getting up for nothing else. So let's see. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Get some more details. Yeah, blue eyes came out twice. So we have blue eyes. Somebody definitely has blue eyes. We have cigarette smoker, redhead female, slim, warning, narcissist. So of course you're dealing with that dreads they can have dreads tall curly hair female light skinned male or light male stoner somebody has dark eyes okay what else okay we have skin marks we have somebody here is shy somebody shy to approach you probably this person that has feelings for you that's been hiding them <laughs> Then we have LGBTQ, beard, divine masculine, so your divine masculine, glasses, somebody's a fly dresser, we have manifester, light female, brown hair male, short hair female, green eyes, and waves low cut and fade, waves low cut or fade, okay, so let's get some more, um, from the what's the tea deck then we're going to pull signs to see what signs could be significant and then we're going to close out okay so let's see spirit guys and angels for gemini what do we have for gemini spirit what other messages can you give us for gemini in regards to this reading please and thank you for gemini in regards to the spread spirit messages for gemini All right, so we have somebody here that's always partying. Hmm. Family issues. Yeah, that's that's clear. That's here. Rejected. Somebody here's being rejected and you're moving on. Thank you. Next. <laughs> um, kissing ass. Somebody's ready to kiss your ass to make up with you. Then we have tripping on you. <laughs> Somebody here ain't shit. Then we have fed up. Yeah, you're done. Just done. Somebody here trying to cock block you, but you're moving on or you're moving out of this home situation, possibly. Somebody here wants you back. Drama starter. You're ignoring someone and you're totally unbothered. <laughs> and then we have dusted off. Okay. Let's get a few more. Let's see what else comes out for Gemini Spirit and the spread. All right, so we have boss daddy, stable, rich, business owner, CEO, big dick energy. Okay, period. <laughs> we have hustling, making it rain, focused on money, getting it. <laughs> Love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, nostalgic. Yeah, with that six of cups, I was at the bottom. Somebody definitely thinking about you. Talking shit, so whoever this is, talk shit here. That's what I said with the page of swords. Somebody here likes to start shit. Somebody in your family or somebody you were with. But um, someone's chasing you here. They want to maybe bring you some flowers or take you out on a date. Yeah, because they're into you. Good chemistry, great vibes, positive. We have hooked. Yeah, somebody's hooked on you. We have extra triggered, <laughs> crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. Hmm. Screenshots, getting evidence, proof, facts. Bankrupt. Yeah. We have queen rising, stepping into power, praise. Coming up, spotlight. Somebody here is in the spotlight. Maybe somebody that you're dealing with or you're going towards. And then we have giving money. So maybe you have to give money to this person. Maybe you have to give money to whoever this is that you're trying to leave or get away from. That's why I said something about child support. There's child in, a child involved here. Some of y'all could have found out some bad news about a child. Hopefully not. Or maybe that a child isn't yours with this page in reverse. That does stand for a child. Then we have the tower and the ten of pentacles. So it's like, maybe you did find out a child wasn't yours or somebody lied to you about something. 
in regards to some children. Um, let's get some signs here that could be significant. And then we're going to close. Bottom of the deck, we have Mercury and Capricorn. We have Moon and Capricorn, Jupiter and Sagittarius, Mars and Virgo, Mercury and Sagittarius, Venus and Gemini, Mercury and Libra, Sun and Libra, Moon and Scorpio, Rising Sign and Aquarius, Jupiter and Pisces, Sun and Pisces, Jupiter and Capricorn, Jupiter and Gemini, Moon and Aquarius, Sun and Aries, Venus and Leo. Venus in Pisces, Jupiter in Leo, Venus in Virgo, Moon in Leo, and Jupiter in Virgo. So those are the signs that could be significant here to this reading, guys. I hope it resonated. If it did, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Gemini.